Hey, how's it going, guys? This is your boy Hayes, and today we're going to be jumping into a battleground. Of course, I'm going to be going over what I've been doing the past few days, of course, in PvE, and of course, doing the normal commentary stuff over the PvP. So let's go ahead and jump into this, guys, and have some fun. Looks like we got a Wrathy Basin here, guys. Of course, we're going to go out as tame as possible, see if we get out some crazy breath and go ahead and slap him with the dragon. But first, we're going go to go ahead and talk about just a few little updates. Of course, we're up to uh, 849 item level. Getting quite up there in the gear. I'm hoping I can break 850 by tomorrow, uh, either farming Mythics or downing the last uh, boss in the new raid. I'm up to uh, 6 of 7, I believe, in the new raid, uh, with the new raiding guild I've joined. Of course, as you can see, I've transferred Horde. You guys voted. It was like 300 plus for a Horde, and it was like, I don't, it, it wasn't even like 150 when it came to the Alliance. So it was pretty one-sided to go Horde. So I did that, and um, found a good raiding guild, a pretty good solid raiding guild that uh, I can definitely kill some of the bosses with and uh, have a good time. And try to pick up some gear. So that's kind of my main little goal at the moment. Um, why? That's why I haven't been doing a lot of PvP, of course. Since it is the start of the season, I want to break into Arena. But uh, the past two days, I've been raiding uh, every night instead of, of course, PvPing. It's been really fun. I'm going to keep doing it, I believe, tomorrow night. And then by they hope by Monday that we'll be pushing through some of the heroics. Because I believe they aren't on the same lockout anymore. So that's kind of cool. Um, as for LFRs, I don't believe LFRs come out until next week, guys. So if you're waiting for those, um, so you'll have another week on that. Um, I've got a couple pieces from the raid. I believe I got uh, the cloak and a ring earlier tonight. And also I got a couple other pieces. I haven't showed you. See, look at this. Use 5% extra magic damage and healing damage. It's amazing for uh, that short, short breath proc. Does insane damage. Um, getting whispers here. What are they saying? YouTuber? <laughs> YouTuber? Yeah, yeah, Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. <laughs> All right, let's get back in this. Um, we can definitely take Blacks. It looks like everyone left Lumber Mill, though, so it may get capped on, but that's all right. That's all right. We're going in ham here. Um, you guys are probably wondering, since I've done, uh, you know, six or seven bosses in the raid, is Frost really as bad as everyone's saying it is in raid damage? And honestly, guys, on most of the boss fights, for the boss fights, I'm doing just fine in DPS. Generally, I'm within the top uh, six. Generally, and some of the fights I've even managed to, you know, fight for uh, the top title. And if you're wondering, or you're comparing yourself to a geared unholy DK. Of course I am. Matter of fact, Hype Down's in the raid with me. I uh, got him into the raiding guild too. And uh, we're pumping out some, you know, repping up some of them DK deeps with our DK gear. And a lot of the time we're fighting for some of the top spots. It, it's actually turned out pretty crazy. I didn't expect to be that close to him when it came to raid DPS. But, you know, it, it surprisingly I've been able to it, keep right up there with him. Um, and really not have any problem any like huge gap between my dps and the other people's dps i'm right in there and i believe for the uh hero or heroic core they're gonna cut down even more people so they're only gonna take you know so many high people within the guild uh into this core so if i get into the core obviously i'm doing just fine on a frost dk because i'm still able to out dps some of the other classes now a lot of people have said well what about all the people that are figuring out dps and saying that it's terrible guys you got to remember something they are also doing all their math around a different spec than what i'm using i'm using the elongated breath spec uh everyone else is figuring out they're going to be using the um uh the other spec which in my opinion is not as good when it comes to uh rating <laughs> Yeah. Okay, still talking to me. I'm just trying to stay alive. Hell yeah. And look at them. They're all happy about it. They're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just trying to stay alive right now so I can spin that flag. There's a lot of people here. A lot of paladins. Like, is this a paladin pre made? I've never seen so many paladins in one group when it came to uh, Legion. So we're just going to AoE this guy. It's from my server. What up, dude? Let's 
going to keep you off the flag. This guy's also a healer, so I mean, it's who I want to focus anyways. Caught interrupt on that guy. Getting focused right now, probably from the other pre-made in the group. I'm going to go ahead and put self-healing on myself and uh, proc some IBF heals, hopefully healing up to full here. And I got minor cooldowns I can proc, which I'm going to throw up. And uh, just keep my movement going so I can evade a lot of the damage that they're trying to put in on me. And just trying to keep pressure on this healer. I need full burst to really do a lot of damage to that guy. I'm just going to spread my dots around a bit. That guy's taking a lot of damage. Good that they switched to him. He is just getting pressured. Alright, mage is switching to me there. I'm going to get away from this fire mage. Use a little LOS because uh, mages are not so nice. I'm going to focus this red paladin. I think those healers can keep themselves up. A lot better they can keep up some of the DPS. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to uh, breath this guy. We've got a long breath incoming right here. So he's definitely going to go down. Yeah, he went down. This guy has a cooldown. Oh, no, cooldowns just fell off. So he's a good focusable target now. And we got proc up. I'm actually going to switch over to that paladin who's holy, holy lighting. I'm going to catch interrupt on that. He shouldn't be able to bubble unless he's got like that. Uh, I believe the insta proc makes it so even if you get interrupted, you can still bubble. So we're going to put that down. It looks like we've still got three cap. This was just like an insane fight. I really can't believe we actually made it through this. I really thought it was going to just kind of end and badly on our part um, as far as that goes. That guy just says, am I famous? <laughs> you guys might be. You might be in a video. You never know, guys. Um, let's take a look at where damage is at. I don't think we're at top, but we are in second place. Uh, Felflow right here is also in my guild. He's a raider, does some crazy AoE damage uh, when it comes to uh, demon hunters. So I did expect him to rip it up. I believe he's got around uh, the same item level I do. It looks like they're actually hitting Blacksmith. We went the wrong place. All right, let's book it back down there. They're, they're like slash love. <laughs> I'm going to wave at him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Wookie, wookie, wookie. All right, it's going down to Blacksmith. Um, Let's see what's going on here. It looks like there's a pretty good fight. Actually, they just got wiped up, so now we're going to react wherever these alliances are going they might be nope they're going lighthouse they're or lumber mill looks like one or two is going up there i'm um, just gonna go ahead and use water walking kind of transfer across come up behind these guys look like there's a hunter going up and uh, a couple more coming up right behind them so hopefully i don't get caught halfway between and i uh, manage to get up to the actual fight yeah it looks like i'll be able to so that's good looks like the actual fight hasn't even started yet we really just ran in front of those guys and we were going to block them from doing anything. That's going to be kind of funny. Smashing these guys down. Yeah, if you're wondering if I have a pre-med in here, I just got uh, one DPS buddy that I'm rolling with. Alright, going to rip into this guy. Looks like I'm being focused right here. I'm going to throw a breath and uh, I'm going to breath both those guys as soon as they come out. That guy's a holy pally, so I'm going to switch to holy pally right here. Hopefully I can hit him with stun. I, don't, I, don't, I don't, won't need to. Breath will cut right through that. And we're going to put this ret down right here. This ret's going to go down pretty fast. Oh, no, he's not. Nice little heals there. I got a healing proc I'm going to use before he dies. Wow, that guy's got the survivability down. Look at that. <laughs> mess him up. All right, we'll mess him up. Oh, looks like they actually took farm. How dare they? All right, we got to go get farm. The guy keeps spamming the love me button. <laughs> All right, hidden up farm again. I can't believe they got it. Yeah, we needed to be down here spinning that. We got slight cooldowns up here in 10 seconds. I'm going to hit that guy with dots as I'm transferring over. And then I'm going to switch on to gripping that so this paladin doesn't get that healing off. I don't know why I, I obliterated him. I should have spammed frost strikes right through that. I'm going to switch over to the healer uh, with them, of course, and try to get this disc priest down. Disc priest went down. Switching over to the other one. I'm going to trigger that. Caught the interrupt on that little heal there. I'm going to actually cap this back. Um, I'm going to actually get feared by this mage. I'm going to switch to fear mage and kill him. Oh, by the way, guys, we didn't talk about it, but artifact. Where's my artifact at? Um, doing amazing with artifact. Now that I have uh, the ranged um, frost strike, guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful when fighting melee. Because now I actually have the option to kite people out and deal quite a bit of damage at short range. Like fighting warriors and rogues and things like that. So that's definitely a major plus for survivability and damage when it comes to playing a Frost DK. Right now I'm just trying to get both these guys away from the flag so we can cap it. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Awesome. 
All right, going back in on these healers. We'll be, we should be able to kill them pretty fast. Going to get feared here. Major CC coming out. Oh, yeah, um, talk about artifact weapon real quick. I'm level 21 with the artifact weapon. It's going to cost about 50,000 for the next rank, which is just absolutely nuts. I'll keep grinding that out. But right now, I decided to actually go for uh, Ambidextry to actually increase my raw damage and then take the AoE from Hypothermia to increase my consistent cooldown ability. So I'm going to go there before I actually go down for Frozen Soul. Overpowered is going to increase the uh, longevity of my breath, which would be great for my spec, but all in all, I, I think I'm going to go for the raw damage first to increase for rating, and then kind of go for the AoE from there. Uh, I'm going to come in on these guys. It looks like there's a healer in the back. Yeah, we managed to cap it back. That's good. That's good. I'm going to get feared. That was that fear just owned me right there. That fear was bad. All right, going to go ahead and uh, AMS. Got a couple things running. That guy's going to die in that breath pretty hard. And so wiping them up. Going to switch off probably the lumber mill. Most likely lumber mill. Uh, but yeah, right now consistently, guys, we got pretty good. We got all right gear. Like, not amazing, but hopefully it'll increase. Looks like they're actually going to take farm on us. We don't have anybody there. Yeah, that was bad. Going to go in pretty hard on these guys. Going to focus the healer right here. Shouldn't have went in that, but looks like I made it out of it before it actually hit me, so that's good. Going to just consistently put in DPS on this healer. Got Demon Hunter coming in on him, which will also deal quite a bit of damage. God's done. Going to have to sit that. I bet they will... No, it looks like that Fire Mage is hitting me. I was like, bet they'll kind of ignore me if I uh, just stop DPSing because they don't, they don't really seem to pay attention to me much. No, it looks like Fire Mage is. All right, so I'm switching back to this healer for now. It looks like I got slight cooldowns rolling. Going to catch Interrupt there. This is also going to stun him. If he doesn't bubble, he's dead. That's dead on healer. Going to grip this Priest in. Hopefully we can get... No, we can't get sliced down on Priest. But we can apply pressure, force him to go LOS so the other DPS dies, obviously. Um, just applying massive damage to him while we're sitting back here. Priest is attempting to smite me. I'm not really sure what he's got planned. An Arena Master spamming smite against a Frost DK. That just does not sound like it's going to end well for that party. Um, look in where damage is at. We're doing fine. We're keeping up with the Demon Hunters and the Warlocks, and uh, the Priests have pretty crazy AoE. It looks like we actually have pretty solid players in here dealing some nice damage. Lumber Mill needs help. All right, definitely hitting Lumber Mill. Looks like they capped it. They got a healer up here. Going to have breath up in 12 seconds, full cooldowns. Um, well, technically not full. Full will be 20 seconds when Cinder goes is up. All right, so yeah, guys, is is Frost DK raid viable? Yeah, you can push through raids just fine on a Frost DK, obviously. Like, a lot of people are just arguing the fact that Frost DKs don't have the consistent damage for challenge modes, but if you gear up enough, obviously, I think you'll do just fine. Um, there isn't really that huge of a difference. People are saying they're the lowest on the DPS scale, but really, how low is the low since a lot of the classes are really balanced? It's not that low. It's really not, like... Just because of either my gill or my gear and or skill level, I've been able to outproduce a lot of other classes when it comes to raiding at the moment, which isn't surprising to me. I knew that was going to happen, especially with uh, just the way that I've kind of figured out how to use this breath and increase the breath damage by proccing certain stat points. And uh, it's really crazy how it kind of works out for a Frost DK. I find it really fun. Um, at least the very large breath crits, those are kind of amazing and i'll go ahead and make some videos pretty soon guys um both involving pvp and in rating i'll go ahead and pump out some rated arenas very soon for you guys i kind of have the idea that i wanted to proc up on gear as much as possible and then hit up some arenas within the first week um hopefully pushing some rating uh probably along the lines of what comp i want to play probably walking dead um, I might even mess around in some arenas playing double uh, Death Knights. That guy wants to add him to friends. So we can do Bagel Grounds. We might be able to do that, man. Um, but yeah, that's probably my idea from there. It looks like I got partials coming up, but partials are going to be met with partial cooldown strength and gripping that guy so I can hit both them with Big Dragon, and uh, they both go down pretty fast. Ripping that guy down and switching over. Ooh, well, we got one more DK up over there. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, the DK, man. What up, Mr. Vin Diesel? Nice swords. I like your style. We got to go back up to Lumber Mill. Ooh, they are catching up to us. It is getting very close. This match really close on this match, matter of fact. 
kind of crazy to see. Like that that's not much of a difference. It really felt like we've had it cap more, but I mean, there's been a lot of flopping, obviously. Is there is one demon hunter and uh, one priest. I, I, I caught ranged interrupt over there. It looks like, uh, yeah, yeah, our interrupts 15 yards. That's pretty vicious nowadays. Because before you had to be within melee range. Now you don't even have to be in the same vicinity. Oh, guys, and also you're probably wondering, yeah, okay, I'm horde, okay. And uh, why did I go orc? Obviously for the attack power buff. Now, why is the attack power buff so key for frost DKs? Not only does it scale, of course, general combat capabilities when it comes to damage, but it literally scales our dragon. Now, Syndragos' Fury, the way this ability works is when that big dragon that comes across, how you scale that damage is either strength or attack power. No strength equals attack power, obviously. So the more attack power you have, the more it scales not only just damage, but scales the damage percentage-wise. So if you have, you know, just a ton of attack power, you're going to deal just an insane amount of damage when it comes to the dragon. Now, there have been times when uh, I've been able to actually deal um, enough damage in, in that split-second time period by proccing the correct abilities that you'll deal over, you know, a million-plus DPS in the raid. Like, it's just absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, just keep focusing this guy. It looks like I have a tank trying to help me kill a healer. As long as he interrupts and I don't get pushed off the cliff, I'll be good. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually, I don't have the correct trinkets right now. I have one for consistent DPS and I have one that kind of procs on its own, the PVP one. Right now I'm using a different one for a bit higher, um, uh, item level for, of course, just scaled PVP stats. Um, but the... Trinket procs like 3300 strength. If I had another one that I could auto proc, I believe one falls out of like Mythic Halls of Valor. Hopefully, I can get that one that's on use and that'll increase burst by a lot when it comes to a Frost DK. Because having that early control really helps out uh, with your damage since you're basically using that and, of course, Dragon up front with cooldowns to deal maximum pressure with Dragon. And uh, that's how I've been able to compete with raid DPS a lot of the time uh, as Frost. Looks like we're actually, are we, are, are we loot? No, we're not losing. It looks like we barely, barely got up here. Okay, we got CDs rolling. I'm actually taking a breath. That breath's not good. I'm not getting knocked out of it this time. I'm going to take full breath, and I'm going to have to come in. And looks like my whole burst got wrecked there. This priest is literally focusing CDs on me. I caught interrupt on that priest. Priest is in a lot of trouble now with minor CDs rolling and caught in that interrupt. He may have some slight cooldowns here, but I think he's going to go down pretty easy. It looks like they're actually hitting farm two at the same time. Come on, we've really got to put this priest down. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Just put him down. This is why tanks... This is why I'm so depressed at tanks inside Battlegrounds. <laughs> they just take so long to kill something. All right, we got... Well, we got more whispers. Nope, nope. All right, heading down to farm... And uh, taking a look at damage, we're sitting at about 4th place right now at about 48 mil. Looks like Demon Hunters and Shadow Priests are just wrecking that AoE damage at the top. Um, gonna go ahead and kill these people at farm. Looks like there is a Mage and uh, Red Paladin. Gonna go hard on Red Paladin. I got minor cooldowns right here. Also Stun gonna come out on Paladin. He's probably gonna die in the Stun unless he bubbles. Who knows if he has bubble up? I have no idea. And Paladin goes down pretty fast. Going to go ahead and get around this corner and try to get on that mage. I know there's a mage around here somewhere. Nope, oh, looks like we won. That's going to be it for this battleground, guys. We wrecked it up again. Um, going ham in raids, trying to pick up some gear. And then again, I'm going to slap out some arena raiding here very soon. Uh, as of course, because when the next or next week comes up, your arena rating is going to be based on how high the item level of gear that you're going to be picking up is. So it is important to do that, guys. And uh, hopefully within the next week, I'll go ahead and record some of the raid clips so you can see how I go ahead and do those as Frost, see some of the DPS, and I'll put it kind of together, um, maybe like the PvE ones. But uh, yeah, guys, anyways, go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed the content. I'll go ahead and try to put some guides out for you guys very soon on Frosty K, but Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and until next time, this was your boy Hayes.